Let the madness begin. Yes, as we mentioned just a few minutes ago, both the Rhodey Rams and the PC Friars are preparing for the big dance in the NCAA tournament, which kicks off this week. And while we will all be cheering on the local teams during this exciting time of year, some of you may be a little confused as to how it all works. Well, here to break it all down for us, the <laughs> madness man himself, longtime Friars radio play-by-play -play man, Mr. Holy Moly himself, John Rook. Good morning, sir. Morning, Brandon. Welcome back. Thank you. Good so to be back. So great to have you here I mean whether you're a hardcore college hoops fan or you just like to get into it when it becomes this time of year to get behind something yeah. either way this is an exciting time of year locally especially this no year. No question anytime you can get both teams involved in the dance I think it's hugely exciting and I think it's the first time that I can recall that both teams have gone now back to back for Providence is five straight years which is a school record as well so you know I don't ever want to take it for granted and I think most uh, fans and certainly I know the administrators at both schools are really appreciating the moment right now? That really is what it's all about. Huge fan bases on both sides of this equation, if yeah. you will. Now, you mentioned Friars five in a row. I've been following PC basketball since I was a little kid, and I know there was a time, <laughs> which is only a few years ago, of yes. Course, of course. We know <laughs> this. When the idea of yeah. five straight NCAA yeah. tournament yeah. berths was just unfathomable. You know, I guess it's probably back in the days of the of the older and, and much bigger Big East uh, when you realize that, wow, that uh, I don't even know if that's even possible, but I think that's a a tribute to certainly what the administration has done at Providence College in order to be able to open the program up to allow itself to be able to compete at that level, number one, and number two, what Coach Cooley has done. Uh, Ed has really changed an attitude, and he's gone out and recruited kids, and he's done a marvelous job. And let me also add in there that you know Danny Hurley has done the exact same thing at Rhode Island. It's so exciting to be a basketball fan around here at this time right now with both of these teams as competitive as they are. Absolutely. The pedigree of both teams is certainly second to none. You are right. I mean, ranked the majority yeah. of the season yeah. and they've just been they were on an incredible streak at one point they've just been knocking down opponents left and right yeah I wrote season has been remarkable and, and so it's you know congratulations it's cheers to them I'd be a little concerned only because at the end of the season they got a little stale at the end they lost in the championship game which is it's easy enough to do trust me but uh, I, I think that they've got a good opponent that they can uh, perhaps get back on track with in the first round of the NCAAs in Oklahoma that'll be a lot of fun right. they've got one of the best guards in the country that they'll be featuring. I'd love to see Rhodey's defense just <coughs> clamp right down on him, you know? I love the, <coughs> the emphasis. That's what it's all about, the passion. I can't get enough of it. And you, sir, have covered, uh, you've been there calling the action for so many games for so long. You told me this year is 30 years. 30 40? years with the program, right? Unbelievable. Yeah. So in all of that time, I mean, certainly many memorable uh, Big East tournament runs and regular season games as well. Villanova this year, huge win. Friars beat Pitt one yeah. year at home when they were number one. With regard to the NCAA tournament, is there any memory that sticks out for you in particular? Yeah, I, I, the, the first one that I always go back to is 97. Uh, so what are we talking about now? 21 years ago. But uh, Friars uh, actually were a 10 seed in that tournament as well. Uh, they uh, knocked off the 7 seed in the opening round. Then in the second round, they beat Duke. Uh, and then they went on into the Sweet 16 and came within, uh, missed a potential uh, uh, jump shot of going to the Final Four. So right. that was a, an amazing time and certainly one of the most memorable moments that I've had in 30 years around here. Well, it's a great time to be a Hoops fan in Rhode Island. Are you, are you ready for some trivia? <laughs> this fine, I'm not sure about this. I don't know. We're going to give it a go. This anyway. fine gentleman <laughs> is going to stick around. Later in the show, I, the self-professed PC Hoops expert, will be going head-to-head -head with John <laughs> in some Friar basketball trivia.